Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Traders Frontiers. I'm your host, Carlos Fade, and it's episode 12. It's the year 222.49. We have 3.4 million in the bank, and we need to seriously consider now going and purchasing a Cthulhu Titan and starting to outfit it so we can get our ship upgraded. So where do we want to do that at? Well, we want to do that at the Thulin homeworld place which is probably going to be star valley fisher or the fifth divide so we need to make our way over there to get that done but right now so we'll try and get over there as fast as we can in the meantime we have this we have to drop this off at le ecume pass and the zendu guidance one jump to mono fisher so we're going to navigate to there we want to get that done Want to get the three princes rallied. Let's see if we can unlock that achievement. So since we are in infinite helix, this place here that is really spread out, great name, infinite helix. Because it's what it feels like. And there we are, Zedatus. There's a little green explorer here. We will just retreat. That's Kadar. We don't suffer any. We don't suffer any negative effects from that. So Zendu Guidance. Public meeting, saving talent. Says many welcome star traders. It's good to see you return to Zedatus. I have been waiting anxiously. Have you had time to review what Augur Cool included in the data cube? Like many of the wise among us, it feels like she speaks in riddles at times. It's taken me some time to decide what her audience advice really means. Will you share her wisdom with me? No, that is between me and Eli alone. But you will like the final outcome, Captain. You may tell the Arbiter Brockstrom that she will have my support. Bring your amendments to a vote in the Quadrant Senate's. Do it the proper way with all the trappings of the law, and she will have my support. And you and I will share a pact. We will watch that which we helped create. On its day of founding and beyond. You made the right choice, Prince. I hope so, Captain. He is grateful for our assistance. We have gained plus 10 rep with Zenrin and plus per 20 personal rep with Prince Goon. Due to his support of the United Coalition, Prince Goon has gained plus 10 influence. Great. We got paid 71k for that, which is nice. We're going to pay our crew a heal. We have somebody who upgraded. Let's see. We got to go back over here. Fighters to leveling to it's the mechanic. It's my mechanic. Let's see. What are they going to give us here? Birds of ship of any crippling ship effects repairs 10 plus repair skill and damage to two to four ship opponents. Rust patches. That's a nice one to have repairs all ship weapons. That's another nice one to have. I like that one. Yeah, let's use that one. Train that one on her. All right, so now we have gained Maklum Nue Prince Damien Lumat support. We have gained the support of Zenrin Prince and let's see. What other one have we said? There's a survey tour thing, which doesn't have anything to do with her. Prisoner of War, which is Aiden Kavanaugh, and this transport one, which is for Merchant Tuco, which needs to go to Le Ecume Pass. So if we navigate to here, and we will surrender to Ludi. They find nothing. Le Ecume Pass, where are we going? Oh, it's way over here. Okay, so we could go around and then we'd have to come back. I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to go to Star Valley Fisher because that's also home. And we should be able to talk to Brockstrom and then we should be able to purchase a Titan. Which would be fantastic. But buying a new ship is always a very fun deal and a very exciting big deal. Surrender and disgrace. No fight. No bribe. No... We will suffer major reputation loss and possible injuries to crew members. No, we'll just skip off. Bye. Skip off the void. All right. Let's go see there at Minerva. 
We would land Callaghan Fane's there. Why are we here at Callaghan Fane's thing? We have business in his court? No, we don't. No, 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 no. I went to the wrong place. Dang it. Where's Brockstrom? Four jumps. Oh, I don't care about the high wind case. Where's Brockstrom? Where are you, Brockstrom? Estelle, four jumps away. Navigate to her. Okay, but hold on. This is our home place. Which one has the best? I gotta, I gotta figure out the map view that lets me look at this. System Atlas. Which one has the absolute best shipyard? Size huge, garden world. Dual and population. Richness, danger, exploration. That's the wilderness zone. Then there's this. This has plus 20 economy, plus 10 population, plus 10 starport legendary. So this is the Nadelli zone. Ah. Okay. What is it? Nadel Civitas Latens. Civitas Latens. Where is that at? Right there. Kind of right here in the middle. Okay. Let's land here and take a look. Either crew their wages. Let's do this. We can upgrade Sniper Man. Now we can get a new ship. We got 3.5 million. So let's go take a look, folks. At the fanciness. There are some very big carriers there. Oh my goodness. Yep. Skylift carrier. That looks cool. Okay. So I definitely want to do... Okay, hold on. I got to make a note here. Wow, look at that. So that is special and then it's locked. Locked by the Adventurer Unlock. Oh my gosh, I want to... I want to use that for a carrier run. That evokes... Uh, that evokes a certain image. What that evokes to me... And, and you may not see it, but to me, this evokes the battleship Yamato from the Japanese anime. I mean, the Yamato was a real ship, by the way, but the Japanese anime made it even cooler. I want to do a carrier playthrough, and I want to use that, so I have to get it unlocked, and it's Thulin. So I have to make a note about that, because that's, that's what I want to use, and it's the Adventure Unlock. Okay. I'm really excited to try that. It's got 62% max craft evasion. Wow. Okay. Compared to like, what's this got? 68 max craft evasion. Wow. I mean, this may not be the best carrier, but it looks the coolest. So I definitely want to try that. Cthulhu the Sword Battlecruiser, max craft evasion, 73%. Then there's this thing, the Archeron Battle Carrier. This is a battle carrier. Wow. Max craft evasion, 78%. But I just like the way that thing looks. So that's why I want to use it. The Cthulhu Titan. All right. So this has 600 more hull. Uh, and then what we want to look at here is 31 total components. This one has 32, which is the sword battle cruiser, which is... I, I mentioned the Cthulhu Titan is what I usually go for because it's got the extra hull. But... This has an extra component slot. They both have an M9000 void engine, which we'll be upgrading. This one has more small components. Okay. It has 14 small components compared to 12. And you want those small components because you want the evasion. I'm going to buy this ship. I'm going to purchase it. And then what I'm going to do is in dry dock, we're going to start doing customizing the ship. So let's see what it looks like right now. And we have for a budget 1.2 million right now that we can make changes with. So there are quarters for a whole bunch of officers. We don't need that many quarters. There's quarters for the whole crew, 42. We will make some adjustments to that. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this. Oh, God, it's, it's got a bunch of weapons down here that I don't even want to use. Okay. All right. 
let's upgrade these hellfire torpedoes these are the small components so what we want to do is upgrade these to defense pattern matrix defense pattern matrix three is an 8k this grants you plus five percent defense plus one shield and plus three jump cost i'm gonna go for the cheaper versions these add oh plus two pilot though okay 85k is it worth it to get the extra shielding and one more pilot skill probably because that's the way we play we need all the pilots we can get so let's start spending money on this we will put it in the queue and then same thing with this one we'll just do a bunch of defense matter pattern matrix and we're probably going to run out of money here real quick purchase put it in the queue defense pattern matrix purchase put it in the queue that's three of those now what we need what is this this is a defense those are our defense pattern matrix so it's this this is evade craft attacks pilot assist module no we don't really want that and we don't want either of these uh what we're probably going to do is one more defense pattern matrix so we'll have four and then what we'll do is we need a boarding assist module for sure plus 25 boarding Ship's hull has only 100 mass available and cannot install 150 mass component. Okay, in that case, then what we need is something that's going to help with the mass. Do we have something down here that we can use? Mass dampener. It's minus 150 mass and it's a small component. This has mass dampener one. It's minus 300 and this is minus 400. Let's upgrade this mass dampener can we use a bigger version of it to there to four it's 120k we'll do that one cue that and this will allow us to get the boarding assist module purchase we'll cue that we're down to 741k for big weapons we want the lances up here so we're going to filter by weapons and we're going to say, give me the lances and I want the biggest lance you can give me the thunder. Okay. So there are, where are the best lances at? Oh, I can find out. Okay. So this is the best one that you can get for right now because the best one you can't get until later. The Kadar have one and steel song have one. What we do need to do is look at the engine. What do we have here? This provides nine speed, nine agility, and eight reactor points, which is not what we want. We want the one with 10 reactor points. Where do we get that one at? Oh, darn. Where do we get that? Okay, I got to find out where we get that. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure where we get that engine with. It's the M9000 Void Engine Warhammer one is the one we want. It's got 10 reactor points and my way of playing doesn't work without it. <laughs> so we need to get that. So I think the thing to do here is maybe mess with some crew stuff. What is this? This is the deflector array. Okay, what are we at for? We have to look, we have to keep our eye on armor and shields. We wanna get these up around um, 60 and shield. Yeah, let's see as high as we can get, so. This says a ship's hulls, base armor, and armor from the components max out at 60%. Buffing talents and ship combat can raise armor to maximum 75. So let's take a look at crew stuff that we can do then. Which one is this? This Lance Array. Okay, we might want to hang on to that one because it's cheap. Let's look at crew stuff, crew barracks. Because there's one in here that will give you crew and officers. Plus two initiative, plus 10 boarding, plus four defense. Quarters for 24 crew. That's kind of nice. 36 crew. This is for 30 crew. Where are the officers' quarters? Let's go back. Uh, back here. Do we have it? It's officers' quarters. Here we go. This one... Plus quarters for two officers, quarters for two officers. And this one is plus 10 accuracy, plus 10 to hit craft, 
plus 10 standard damage, plus 10% to evade craft attacks, and plus 10 protection, 10% protection against morale damage, quarters for one officer. Wow, that's a Thulin thing too that's special. Oh my goodness. I really like that one. It's just one officer though. In a medium slot. What about these down here? The small ones. Officer quarters. Okay. So there, I didn't see a crew one that also had officers in it. I thought there was one that did that, but maybe I'm wrong. Two initiative. That's cool. Yeah, 36 crew. That's got armor, shielding, jump cost. Void resist. Quarters for 36 crew. Shielding, jump cost, radiation resist, and void resist. This adds plus two initiative, plus 15 boarding, plus 6% defense. Void resist. Quarters for 30 crew. Armor. I like that one. It's really expensive, but I want that one. I want that one, and then we can get the other six crew members. What do we got here for crew barracks? For six crew right there. Okay. Because our max is 30. Oh, 42. So we'd have to do two small ones for crew down here. Or there's a bigger one up here maybe. Crew barracks. 42 with a bunch of shielding. There's nothing for officers that's that big. There wouldn't be. Nope. Okay. I'm trying to figure out on the math then. I think we do this. Crew barracks. The best one down here has initiative, it's 30 crew, and it has a bunch of defense and boarding. I think we do that one. We purchase that one and put it in the queue. Now we're down to 356. Getting close to putting up numbers here. What do we have? Battle prows. Don't really care about that. Cargo holds. Fuel tanks, that's the one. We'd like to have that. Hangar bays, which we won't use. Hull plating, launch bays, medical bay. The medical bay one, yeah, quarters for an officer. We can get that as a medium component, though, I believe. Down here, I like to have one of these medical bays. Right here, there should be one for an officer, plus two shielding, jump cost, and six medical rating. Okay, we'll be getting that later. We don't, I don't want to sink my money into that right now. I would like to get a lance. Let's get the medium lance. Weapons, lances... 227 for the Thunder Big Array. Okay. Let's do that. Purchase. We'll put that in the queue. That's down to 126. We've got to have some operating costs. I like this so far. Now, what's it say? 43 weeks and 6 days. Okay. So, we need to earn some more cash between now and then. Do you have any good missions for us? Off the top of your head. This is four jumps. No, six jumps to Crystal Pond Crystal. I hate those. Crystal Payloads. I hate those missions. Avoid those. All right. So back. Let's go find Brockstrom. Prisoner of War. We'll do that. That's These two are going to be our big chunky ones. This is two jumps to let Ekume pass. And then... She's four jumps. Where is she a waypoint? Where is she at? Where is Brockstrom at? Far fallen rim. The Ecume is in the other direction. Okay. So let's go there. Yeah, Brockstrom. We need to set her up with the. Yeah. Navigate to her sister. Let's go get, see her and see if we can get these three princes thing done. But the, the sword battle cruiser. I love having it when it works. It's just badass. Get a couple of lances in there. If you really want to go overboard with, with weapons, you can get the, the big, huge pink ones. Those things are, I can't remember what they're called now, but they're absolutely devastating. But since I like to get intelligence out of interrogating enemies... I don't like to blow up ships anymore. Okay, can we get fuel somewhere? We can. We can get fuel here. In the Dixie Circle. There's a smuggler on the case. We will retreat. We lose one reputation with Rychart. 
There, this is minus 21 for Devaltos. We're going to see if we can patrol here real quick. They're under quarantine. Oh, no. Okay, we'll go here. We'll go here. Because if we, we got an independent that we can get gas from. We're going to land here. Captain, word is going around the starport that the judgment has been given in the Valencia Kane face. The Valencia Fane case. Steel Song is ruled against the Fane family. We knew that would happen. It's just the way it's going to be. There's nothing you can do about that. So let's go try to patrol to, to get us out of this mess real quick here. Just get us some points. Um, oh, brother. Get a rumor. Pirate fleet. Cadrino Chaos. Ooh. I just want to get down to like zero or even minus ten would be great. Okay. We'll retreat. It's Kadar. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, yay. We're going to get some points. Cool. Steel Song didn't like that. Powerful, unexpected ship. There we go. We're going to surrender to looting because there's nothing they can do about that. Minus four. Ooh, ooh look at this. Yay, so we're going to get them into the zero range. We get six rep. Great. Protected by trade permit. And then do we have... Yeah, if we're still got a chance over here. Still got a card to burn. Might as well. Okay, Steel Song didn't like that. And there's only the one card over there. So that's all I care about. I'm going to land here. Pay my crew my wages do this he's got a swordsman and then for el capitan let's get him up to military officer now let's navigate let's go see brockstrom let's go see what she has to say everywhere we look we'll find smugglers spies and merchants yes and we'll kill anybody who gives us a hard time But getting the new ship would be rock and roll. Okay, Brockstrom. Captain Talk is running wild across the starport. The day has come. The amendments that would form the United Coalitions are being taken up for vote by the Senate across the galaxy. We have worked hard for this, my friends. Let us hurry and report our news to Estelle. All right. So it sounds like you also have news to share with us, Arbiter. Dude, Captain, the day has come at last. With your help and the help of many others, it's time to start the second founding. I have sent out word and the amendments are being brought to all the quadrant sentence. Now we will see if the United Coalition will be born. All right. Well, does every Senate need to approve the amendments to the Accords? Shailen was as wise a politician as he was a brilliant military strategist. The faction Accords include provisions and rules for how they may be amended. I see. Then you are strictly following the law to change the law. We will honor every clause and trapping of the laws. A full three-quarters majority of the Senate needs to approve the new amendments. Have your work cut out for you in the coming years, then. We've done our part. The rest is in your hands, Arbiter. I wish I could say you have earned a rest, Captain. You've traversed the galaxy on my behalf. Trust me, you've helped build something that will last. I hope so, Elstel. Once the Senate ratifies the amendment, the Coalition will need your help once again. Amendments to the Faction Accords to create the United Coalition are already being brought to the Quadrant Senates across the galaxy. The tremors will be fought, felt, blah, blah. During this era, we should expect civil unrest and heightened political espionage as the factions wrestle with the Unionist Amendments. We have good news about our errand. Word has come to me about success about Prince Goon. Those princes who have access to the Zendu Augur always turn them for advice and counsel, but Augurs are more loyal to the faction and family than to the laws of Shaelin. Augur El Cool was certainly a strange. One. I like that. I'll take the I off and we'll call him El Cool. That's that's a great name. If you were gonna have a gangster name, El Cool would be it. If she recommended support, she did so because she sees the benefit of Prince Turgon and Prince Goon. For now, what matters is that the prince is willing to throw his weight behind the Senate vote ratify the United Coalition. And it will be done as Prince Guden said. We'll take the vote to the sentence. All the legal traditions and forms will be observed. Okay, so she gets a bonus payment. Our staunch supporters gain his reputation. 
We have good news about our other errand, Prince Damien's Trading Network. Okay. Uh, oh, she's by the flag. Captain, did you have to drag Makloom away and Rychart into such a feud? Still, covert agents of Rychart were willingly broken the law. What else could we do? It's a wrench thrown into the growing coalition. I only serve Shaylin Law, Arbiter. She's angry. The law and her aims are clashing before my eyes. Another major prince has pledged their support for the amendments for the United Coalition. The pieces are in motion now. So we get those things done. And now, does that... Unlocked Coalition Founder did it. So there's our second unlock in this playthrough. That We weren't originally aiming for that, but thank you to all my viewers who left comments saying, No, you can get this one while you're going through it. <laughs> this playthrough. So we did. So there we go. Coalition Founder unlocked... Let's take a look at what that actually does. We'll save a slot here. Let's go to the main menu and look at unlocks. So the coalition founder rally three powerful princes to the Arbiter's cause and difficulty normal hire a ship for sale, the Horizon Highlander. Wow, so that's what we get for that one. Very cool. And the adventurer one. Adventurer. This is the one we want because we want the ships that we can do a carrier playthrough. Discover Xenal artifacts 10 times while exploring on difficulty hard or higher in less than five years. Oh, man. You are going to need... Well, so anything that has to do with exploring early, you're going to need some explorers. You're probably going to want an explorer captain. Okay. Okay. Like this one, discover Xeno artifacts 30 times while exploring on difficulty hard or higher in less than 10 years. So you're going to want to get that at the same time. Starting contact, retired blades master. Recruit swordsman and sells weapons. So we'll want to do that. So there's going to be an explorer play coming. And the cool thing about doing an explorer play is then we could unlock this thing and do carriers at the end of it. That would be sweet. All right. Well, then we'll get back to work on this thing. We still have a half an hour to go. Okay, we need to make money. So. Opposed transport. We have five jumps in 31 weeks to go jump, to go leave that off. Okay, and then we have this big one here in Callous Justice. Local military at Lyrich Landing is on high alert over suspected trafficking and smuggling of dangerous illegal goods. If we wish to support the Fanes in their time of need, we should go to his court. Well, we should probably do that, but let's go take care of this one first. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into along the way. Actually, hold on. Do we need to see her about anything else? Senate will move slowly to make this decision. It feels glacial at times, Captain. This may take years, but we are saving our people from all-out war, I know it. Amendments to the faction accords to create the United Coalition are already being brought to Quadrant Senates across the galaxy. Okay, so now we just have to wait. It's an era, and we just have to wait. She doesn't have anything else for us. Okay. So is there anybody else here that we want to get a mission from before we take off? No. Okay. Now, what we're going to want to do... Hold on. I'm still not sure we want to leave this place. Yeah, we need to... Oh, hold on. What's this? What's this place here? Trade Permit 3... I'm going to go over here. This is Thulin space. And we're looking for a place that's going to sell us the engine. That's the thing we have to be on the lookout for. Something that will sell us the M9000 Void Engine Warhammer class. So what is this starport that they have? Let's see. Upgrade ship. What do they have for engines? They don't have it. So we got to look somewhere else. It's probably going to be Kadar or Steel Song or something like that. Okay, so let's get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to be on the lookout for that. I, I don't have an Excel spreadsheet for this game, and I should. <laughs> I, I need a spreadsheet that tells me, here's where you find these parts. So here's the Thulin one. And looking at this, like, I got to go here. Erg, where are we at? Right there in the fifth divide. System Atlas. What do these places have? Popul seven starport, and this is a ten starport if we go to Wagok zone. 
So this is Criticorum. Criticorum. Right there. Yeah, so, and we were there. There's Wagok Zone where we can run Blockade, but they didn't have it when we looked last time, so they're not going to have it. So our other options here... I wish... Is there a way to... Okay, it says right here, Starport. Bellex Prime has a Starport that's 10. Let's go there and look. Military officer, submit to inspection. Leave us alone. We're going to go over here and look. All right. So here at Bellex Thulon... What kind of engines do they have? The Chaser, the Traveler, the Long Haul, and the Balance. Okay. So they don't have it. Thulin doesn't have it. Gotta find it somewhere else. Swordsman. Right here, I got a pilot that gets a new talent. Engage fighters, buff ship with minus 20. Yeah, plus 20. Plus to hit craft. We'll take those plus to hit crafts on. Yep, because we want we want to hit crafts, and we think I think we're gonna have to stack those, make that happen. So we'll have to stay on the lookout for each one of these systems as we pass through to look for a place that might have a shipyard. Like this has got a starport ten. This is in Mono Fisher. These guys like us enough. It's forty two reputation. Do they have it? Upgrade ship. Engine. They have the Warhammer. Okay. They got an M2400 Warhammer. So I would assume that they would also have the Warhammer for the big engine. So we're going to write this down. This is at Zadaris Industrial. Okay. Okay. I've made a note that that is where we can find the engine probably. So onward. Onward we will go. Entering the infinite helix. Let's go make some money. So we can pay for even more fancy stuff on our Cthulhu Titan. One rep we lost with Makloom Nui. Not a big deal when we got 78 rep with them. All right, so what are they right here? They, not a great starport, so they wouldn't have it anyways. Not worth checking. The doctor has made another level. As the combat medic, he's up to level eight. Okay. Is there anything good for combat medic beyond eight? He actually gets a pretty nice buff at military officer rank eight. It's called Steely Authority. It buffs two targets with plus 30% deflection, plus 10% armor, and plus 75% to res resist debuffs for three turns and restores 10 plus tactics morale. So that's a nice buff. So we'll move him up to rank eight in that so we can get that because that'll be a nice buff for him to have. Wanna see if I can get a doctor that's just maxed out on buffs. That'd be cool. If I was playing hardcore, I'd probably lose him. <laughs> right about the time I get a doctor buffed up, then then I'll lose him. Cause the other thing we need money for is is trying to get additional better gear as far as weapons. And we need the best armor locker. Because what do we even have on this ship? Which locker are we using? We're using an A3. So we'll need better armor by the time we start fighting Jaida. This is not great. We can't do anything on that planet because they hate us. So we're going to have to go make sure we have fuel on this planet, on this system over here. So let's make sure we have fuel. Beluria Peak. Now we'll go over here. Oh, they got a military officer. I'm sure doesn't like us. We'll stiff salute him. What's our... We're at minus 94. Okay. Opposed transport. We'll use an attention-grabbing brawl. 
we get paid money to lose more we'll pay our crew how long till our next mission this is four years and nine years for that one we could do some patrolling and we might be able to get out of this mess it's a long shot but if we get lucky several times in a row we could erase this Very curious about how this will, how this will work out, because this this bothers me. Unexpected ship. It's an independent. Level ten. Oh well, we have to fight that one. It's a spy Van Cleef. Okay, spy Van Cleef. We're gonna wild fly right up your wazoo. And now we'll do. Twitch Sedge. Or you're gonna lightning lock me, you think? Is that what you're thinking? I don't think so, my friend. This. Now you're hurting. How you feel about that? Do this for a little more damage. Now we will board you and make your crew sad. That works really good because by the time we get up into one position, the the wild flying went off. So that was really nice. Let's do. Let's not do broadside yet. Let's add this to the damage. Right. Look at you folks. You look great. Probably going to need two turns, so let's do this. Oh, she had a double attack. What fun for her. What fun for us. Oh, you're going to die. And you'll get poked. Doc, can you finish him off? Yeah, he's done. He's done. Poked. I was wrong. We did not need a second turn. We can strike their engine to cause damage. And it now leaves it 54% damage. Is that enough? Nope. Not enough to put an end to this thing yet. Well then. Uh oh, shotgunner up front. Well then, we shall do this. We shall poke him. And then we shall shoot him. And he will never get a shoot. That's always great. Ooh, she's trying to hit us. How is that make you feel, doink? Oh. That's hurting. Oh, she's stunned. Well, if I can kill one of you. Yep, you don't get to go. <laughs> nice. Ferocity. Who do you want to kill? I guess I should have shot the other one. Simply because she, uh, the other one, the one we killed first was stunned. This, uh, damage. All right, let's broadside you. We're going to make it hurt. Hundred and twelve damage and then hundred and twelve for a crit. That that doesn't seem right, does it? Ow. 
Oh my gosh. All right. What do we want to do here? Let's do this in case there's a turn two. Oh, the captain's here. El Capitan has arrived. Well, then there probably won't be a turn two, but... So we're going to smoke him. Oh, he took that like a champ. Oh, you going to hit me? You're going to get stabbed. Okay, you can heal him. You can spend points. Yep. Stun him and the captain is morale broken. He killed him. He's still got a point left. Let's hurt him. Her. That way, this is going to be a real short turn for you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we could do this. Oh, we can only do that. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Slash and retreat can only hit the first person. That's it. Captain's down. Independence came after us. And they got crushed. Alright, we'll take their fuel. They have cargo. We'll take it all. Battle damage repair for us. Don't need rough interrogation. Destroy. So we get 10 plus repair skill to your profits and repair equal to your own home. Nice. Okay. All right. So we're patrolling. But hmm, this is going to take a lot of time to get out of here, isn't this? I'm just going to use up my cards here. My, my bonus cards. Yeah. Okay. There's two cards here this is this is i gotta make rules for myself so that i can stop doing something like this because i could i could literally keep playing this card game all day until i get this build down to zero if we have two bonus cards that give us reputation we'll keep playing so in this case we'll remove one of these to improve our odds of getting one of those cards which we did and we'll retreat from them now there's a card here and this is a rep so we can give ourselves a reputation bonus so now we have two so that's not fudging the rules there but we just didn't get anything from it which is a bummer so and now there's no cards okay we'll move onward so what we want to do is go make a bunch of money let's navigate here I would like to be able to buy some more components for my ship. Probably not before this episode's over, but... And we'll look for contacts along the way to see if we can find somebody to give us some more jobs. Oh, so we're, we're at minus 39 with Steel Song. That's not great. Oh, wait a minute. Right, right here. Land, stash, deposit, stash... So this is a steel song system and they don't like us. There's steel song right here. Let's go here first and try to improve our reputation with them as well. Ten fuel plus turns. Bye bye. Eh. Fight. We'll surrender to looting. There's nothing to loot. 10 fuel plus turns. Nope. Military ship. Didn't care. Spend her to imprisonment. No. Skip off the void. Alright. Powerful and unexpected ship. I don't think so. Oh boy. We're just not making it, are we? Not having any luck. Teal song rep. Oh. Killing me. You're killing me. Strike a blow in a conflict. Okay. Varied results. That sounds bad. Ugh. I'm not getting any of these. Varied results. Distress signal. Death among the crew. I don't think so. We haven't got one of these yet.
We haven't got one positive. We started at minus 39. Uh, I think this is just the way it's going to be. Bummer. Can we get one of them? Any one of them? Nope. It's not going to happen. We're going to be left with Steel Song hating us. Okay. We've done all we can here. Oh, God. And then this shows up. Okay. Fifteen rep with Steel Song. That was a big chunk. Okay. Retreat. We can't skip off the void anymore. So I think the thing to do here is get fuel. Pay wages. Upgrade this person. He gets another job as a swordsman. And then another talent. What can he use? So here's where things... Where we gotta get something really good here. Um... What does he have? Hamstring slice, which is minus two, because to an, an enemy's initiative, which is really nice. I like that one a lot. Honor guard is great. In crew combat, removes all debuffs. Buffs with fifteen percent deflection. Auto block seventy-five percent of all attacks. Fifty percent chance to end after each block for three turns. That's a great one to have. I like that one a lot. There's also this, which can help move you forward a slot. Our other guy has this, and it buffs yourself with melee defense and resist debuffs, and it heals and it moves you forward. It's a great one to have, I think. They'll both have that skill, so we're going to get that. We got these guys to minus 22. We're going to retreat. We will patrol at the next steel song system that we can. So here's this right chart system. These guys are on our side. We just acknowledge. Navigate. Land for fuel. Repair. That cost us a week. we did to skip off the voids prisoner of war we're gonna blockade all righty then Let's see what happens these guys really don't like us oh get a little bit of cash hostile pirates varied results nothing there looks good strike a blow in a conflict mission success yay all right to battle Oh, look, he's got the... Oh, he's level 17. Ooh, this could be tougher than we think. Let's wild fly it. He's got some long-range missiles here. Fortunately, they miss. So let's do... Twitch Surge. He's going to Vigilant Scanners to try to give him better odds there. We rolled a 77 defensive on that second shot that's nice all right now start doing the damage let's hurt him more damage Trying to escape, but that ain't gonna happen. Let's do one more turn of just pure damage, maybe. Like this. Oh, and he tried to board us. Interesting. He almost succeeded, too. Okay. We're gonna do this in broadside. Oh, that hurt him. Let's see if we get some injured people to fight against. Kind of, sort of. Big stabs. I don't think there's going to be a turn two here. So I'm just going to do this. 
oak. Oh? Really? Let's stun you then. Alright, Doc. It's gonna be up to you then. Let's do this. We'll fish hook him. So you get some more points. You can kill her and move backwards. buff yourself. You can take this guy out. Now we're at nine, so now we can do our own stuff here. We can heal. And you can smack her around. And then you can finish her off. Very nice. Damp mass dampener is there. Or we can do minus two reactor points or crippled weapons. But they're not shooting at us anymore, so I have to assume their weapons are pretty crippled. Oh, Captain. Captain, my Captain. They're taking it on the chin. Well, then. Well, this is going to go quickly. Let's just shoot. Yeah. You can shoot some people, bud. Shoot and swing. Very nice. You can shoot someone. These are all very nice shots here. Stabby. They're all dead. What do we have left for them? 390 on the hull. Okay. We're not going to... We're not going to do that much damage. They'll have no hull left, but... There's the captain. Oh yeah, I heard him. Now he's gone. It's all over. But the crime... Oh, his morale is broken. That's so sad. So sad to see that. Her morale is broken. Doc, why don't you move her closer so we can kill her? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Our mission is complete. Enemy captain has suffered a fatal wound. So. We are going to battle damage repair. We don't need to do that. Rough interrogation. Take the fuel. Cargo. Claim all. Destroy or ransom. We'll ransom the ship back to him. Then we'll leave. We've taken our prisoner. And onward we go. Oh, how nice is that? Okay. So, coming up on the end of the hour, this person is five jumps to get rid of them. And this is, it's Callaghan Fane. Okay. So we'll earn some money from that. We'll also try to earn some money here. Oh, and this is Steel Song again. There's a pirate fleet here. So let's try to patrol some more. Unexpected ship or varied results. Yes, we like this. Retreat. Okay, this is this looks nice. We get some there and face a pirate. Great. We get eight rep from for that. Surrender to looting. No, we'll skip off the void there. Ooh, a bunch of these and a bounty hunter. Two reputation ones went away. We get an explorer ship. We'll retreat. 
retreat. Hold on. Now we're at minus 10. Pay our crew. We Can we sell cargo here? This is legal. Let's get rid of that. Rest is advanced electronics. Try to patrol this again. We got two, three cards here that could help us. So one is going to. That gives us six more rep with Steel Song. Powerful and unexpected ship. Three cards that can help us. And we will get rep with Steel Song. Great. Okay, let's do this. Steel Song, friends, is pirate trap. We can surrender to looting. We'll just do that. They can take our stuff. I'm fine with that. There's one more here. There's two of these. So I want to try one more time. We get that one. We get four rep with them. There's two here. Two more positive cards. So fight. We'll submit to inspection. And nothing else there. So let's go down here. There's no repairs here that we can make. Let's upgrade him, the sniper. Get him up to 15. Okay, so Steel Song is now in the plus. That's what we like to see. The Steel Song for sure has that void engine, so has that massive Warhammer engine. So if we have to go to Steel Song, I know I can get it there. Submit to inspection. You're seeing a lot of carriers now. Which tells me we need our we need our sword battle cruiser soon. Minerva's ring. And we're at 224. We're well past years, so it's sitting in dry dock now, doing nothing. So we need to get to it. <laughs> I didn't write down what planet it was on either. Oh god. Okay, this is the only place we can get fuel. The Desava arm. Oh jeez. Pair one item, heal one crew member. Okay, let's go. Oh, this sucks. Okay, there's fuel up here. There's none down here. These guys are minus 111. That's not smooth. Okay, and here we are. Bevia. We get a right chart explorer that doesn't like us. Just retreat. So what is this? This Oh, this is the Templar Order. Okay. We need to explore. Survey tour. Weeks lost. It's not like we're in a hurry, are we? Three years? Callous justice if we want to go deal with that. Survey tour is eight years. We're not in a hurry. So we're going to reroll that. Intel records. Months lost. Mission success. Rare cargo and pirates. Okay. Refined resources. Weeks lost. Damage to the crew. Failed a stealth wisdom test. Months lost. Terrox artifacts. I heard that. Oh, we get a new contact. Okay. Stolen riches in pirate combat. Mission success. Here we go. So we do that and we got paid. We don't get paid yet. Okay. We're going to leave the stash there. All right. Do we want to go get messed up in callous justice? Or do we want to do this? Where's this at? Let's start navigating towards that and see what our waypoint looks like. Skip off the void of the bounty hunter. This has repairs. It's independent. Let's go down there. Uh-oh. We're going to have to coast in. Crew's not going to be happy. Losing morale. Repair the item. Pay the crew. 
He gets Swordsman. It's Explorer gets a new talent. What are some good ones here? Reroll all five cards and draw a new hand. Yes, thank you. Take that. Uh-oh. It's a military ship. We have to take him out. Okay, well. Then this is where we'll start the next episode, folks. This is where we're going to leave off. We're at an hour. We'll attack these guys. We're going to try to gobble up some contracts and make some money next episode and finish off and get our sword battle cruiser. So it's probably in good enough condition. Now we need to make one change to it because it has too much crew quarters. So we're still going to have to do some slight adjustments, but it's close to us being able to take out a dry dock. So one more achievement down. And we move on. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments behind. And I will see you next time. Until then, happy gaming, everyone.